Hello everyone, welcome back to Magic Gathering Arena. Getting back on that horse, or rather that vampire, uh, by playing more Quick Draft Crimson Vow. We got a land here, not interested at all. Um, Storm Chaser Drake, totally fine. Bloodsworn Squire, not my favorite. Markov Retribution, not really my thing either. Weaver of Blossoms is fine. Flame Blessed Bolt is fine. So it's one of those, or the Drake... I think it's probably the Drake. I like I overvalue Drake a little bit because I had I still I have a I had a memorable uh, first deck with it. Uh, Storm Chaser Drake it does say is is the best of those cards, but it's pretty close anyway. This you know if you take a bunch of ancestral anger, this card's great. Um, but it's also just a two mana two one flyer, which is pretty solid, and it's got this extra ability. Great. Um. Is Geistlight Snare good? It's okay in spirits. And we are blue. There's not really any other good uncommons or rares. Um, but there's some solid commons here, right? Like Gluttonous Guest is fine. Socialite is fine. Lantern Bearer is pretty good. Reckless Impulse is okay. I think it's between Geist Light Snare and Lantern Bearer. How, how good do you think Snare is? Not that good. Okay. I'll take the Lantern Bearer then. Uh, Bride's Gown, not very good. Catapult's Fodder, okay. Edgar's Awakening, pretty good in red black. Any, anything you can get blood tokens in, of course, it's good, but red black is best at doing that. Uh, and of course, you do have to be black to be able to pay this. It can't just be ancestral anger, can it? That's so bad. It's supposed to be catapult fodder here. Not a particularly blue black card, but we want to stay open to what might be open. What you know, stay flexible. See what lane might be open. Catapult Fodder is the best card in the pack, for sure. Um, this pack, Arch Ghoul, I think is best. Sawblade Slinger is also fine. I've always like wanted Arch Ghoul to be good, and then I take it, and it's like never all that good. But it's still like just decent stats, and you might get a draw out of it. That's all you can really ask for. Yeah. Okay, give me the Arch Ghoul, I guess. Mm, what about Wandering Mind? That's really good in red-blue. Right? Wandering Mind. It is quite a good card. Like, Lantern Bear is also pretty good. Um, and more flexible, but... I don't yet know that I should be in black at all, and the fact that Wandering Mind is going by is a good incentive to... Plus I have, like, the Drake, right? Those those two both love red-blue. Wedding Security is a powerful card. Diagraph Scavenger is pretty good as well. I think I'll just take the Lantern Bearer. This is a non-creature spell? No, this is, sorry. Yes, you reveal a non-creature, non-land card. Okay, I mean, this is not a very good pack. But I could take Fear of Death. Or I could take, like, Drog Skull Infantry. Maybe we end up in blue-white because I have all this spirit stuff. It's not incredible. Maybe I end up in zombies. I guess that's still a possibility. This isn't a zombie. Bleh. All right, fear of death, quasi removal, fine. Uh, 
Okay, I mean, if you're going to offer me the chance to play red-blue, I'll take it. I love is it. Might not work out, but that's where I'm headed right now. Big ol' zombie? Big ol' vampire? A non-creature ramp spell? Nothing? A creature? I mean, this is not nothing. It's not horrible. This is pretty aggressive. I don't think I'm going to wind up in aggressive white right now. Oh my god, what the hell is this? What are you? A cemetery protector. All the cemetery cycle is pretty good. It's a 4-mana white 3-4 flash. When you play a land or cast a spell, if it shares a card type with the exiled card, you make a 1-1. One -one. That's pretty good. Better than everything else here. In fact, there's nothing here I even really want. I mean, I could take Alchemist Retrieval if I wanted to, like, commit to red-blue. We have a few decent cards to maybe be in blue-white, and getting a bunch of tokens would be kind of cool. Um, thing is, this isn't really a blue-white card. But it's just, like, a really good stats that makes a bunch of 1-1s, one and that matters. Not as much in blue, green, blue, white as it would in like green, white, obviously. Green, white is the token deck. Um, we could take an alchemist retrieval. It's just I don't really believe in the blue, red stuff yet. Like, have I seen any signals for much of anything though? Not really. Like, white, I guess, might be open. There are a bunch of mediocre white cards at the end. Black, there was one good black card in the last, like, five packs. Hasn't been much of anything in red, to be honest. I saw this and I took it, but I don't have much reason to believe I'll get more. Got a few good blue cards, but nothing much. I don't know. Still no good ideas. I think I should just take the best card and see what happens. Bleed Dry? Ballista Watcher? Both pretty good. Should be easy to flip it to Knight with Ballista Watcher if I'm playing Red Blue Instance. But Bleed Dry is really strong. Maybe I can try to play those, like, all three of these colors. Thirst for Discovery is so good in the red-blue deck, and totally fine in other decks. Brinecomber? Blue-white? So we still don't know what we're doing about this creature. I mean, we're not running the Unhallowed Phalanx, that's for sure, right? And I don't think the Socialite is in. So for running black, it's like just for these cards, which are not all that good. Ancestral Anger is better with um, the red-blue deck, obviously. But just making flyers is pretty cool. I don't have that many auras, though. Like, I mean, okay, I guess if I were blue-white, I would. Yeah, this is a kind of big threat. I'll take it. Arm the Cathars, big old uh, attacking buffing spell. I don't know the word for that. I guess it's a pump spell, but it's not an instant speed like I'm used to seeing them be. Biolume Egg is the best card here, but we're not looking like we're going to have much to sacrifice it with. So it might just be another Lantern Bearer. Yeah. Serpentine Ambush? Not a very good card, but it's alright. If you're attacking a lot, or just like generally speaking, if you want to do combat stuff. 
Um, more lantern bearers? Could take the knife. It's not bad. I don't know what is happening in this draft. I don't know, a shitty flyer? It doesn't look like red is open. That's what it looks like to me. And this is an okay white card, and it looks like we might be trying to be in white. Radiant Grace, no thanks, right? Well, I don't know. This, this card sucks, right? It's, it's a fine card. I just, for what we're trying to do, which seems to be flying attackers, this is not it. Giving something plus one, plus oh, and their stuff entering tapped could be useful. I don't know. I mean, anything. Well, this is also an aura. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking anything that's an aura for Brian Comer is worth something, but this is an aura. There's all these like mediocre red cards. Like, Sure Strike is fine, but it doesn't look like I can actually play red. I think it's just another Serpentine Ambush, which I hate. Alchemist Retrieval is okay. Beguiler? A big. Yeah, okay. If they get down like one flyer, I might be scared to attack. Sure. This fixes that problem. I don't want a trainee for any reason that I can think of. Well. Can move its counters, I guess. And it is a two drop. Okay, it's better than an ancestral anger. I'm gonna cut anyway, right? Okay, no more, no more serpentine ambushes, please. I'm sick of these snakes. Uh, Runo, just like awful. It's a one, three mana, one four flyer. Thirst for discovery, pretty good. Okay. And by the way, you can discard stuff that with Disturb to get back to the other side of it. Uh, could play another Wandering Mind. I have a lot of non-creature spells, right? Mm, yeah. Like, we have a little bit of fixing, but not that much. I think I should just get rid of these guys and focus on Flyers. Now, Bramble Worm is still an option. It, I don't have a lot of green sources, but I have one. And I can put in a forest or two if I have to. And Bramble Worm is just so impactful. And you don't need the green until very late that you might just be able to play him with like two forests or one. And what you get is incredible. You get this huge creature when you play him. But I kind of think Fierce Retribution is probably the way to go. If I'm going to be trying to win races. Um, blowing up the stuff they attack with or drawing this late to kill their flying blocker. Seems pretty cool. I could take more draw, but I already have, what, two thirsts? Is that all? Serpentine Ambush. Not, sorry. Storm Chaser Drake. Is that even draw? Do I have anything that can target it? I mean a little. I think two Thirst for Discovery is probably enough though. Give me Fierce Retribution. Diver Scab. Hmm. No thanks, I think. Well, actually, mm, okay, what about a flying? Geistlight Snare? This should be a really cheap counterspell in blue-white, right? I don't have... I have a fair number of spirits, and most of them have Disturb. I think this is a really good counterspell. Imprisonment is pretty solid. Infantry? Oh, just another imprisonment, I guess. Minister is insane? Kind of surprising Retrieve is still here.
Heron of Hope? I mean, three mana for a two, three. Oh, it's four mana. Jeez. The life gain is not that important. I could take a repository scab instead, but I don't want to. Yeah, it looks like blue white flyers is what we're doing. Gotta have that knife, right? This likes disturbed creatures, I guess. I can cut a Serpentine Ambush. I still think that card is not very good. I don't think I need an Heirloom. I don't want the Beguiler, but it's nice to have a little top end, I guess. So I could take like a Scattered Thoughts here. It's pretty slow. How much disturbed stuff do I have? There's all the lantern bearers. So it's really those four plus the brine comber, huh? So discarding a creature card to draw a card does not seem very amazing. Yeah, scattered thoughts, okay. These are both okay. I could cut the scattered thoughts for them, really. Ah, no, come back. This is kind of removal-y. Um, and milling for disturbed stuff is not bad. Or I could take this, which... Pretty good tempo. I think I'll just take Fear of Death. Actually, wait a minute. Either one of these could be playable. Uh, they're usually not high on my list, but... Yeah, two damage to target attacking or blocking creature, scry one. Like, I think this deck likes that. Counters, I mean, God, a counter spell would be pretty sick, wouldn't it? We have one in Geistlight Snare. I don't know how reliably I'll be able to tap out. Parish Blade Training is a two drop, but it really can't train very often, right? I don't have, like, the biggest thing I have has two power. Oh, there's a three here. So it can't get very big. It can't move that many counters. It's not that good a creature. Get out of here. Give me a... Really taking a piercing light? I think I am. And I think this is a 16 land. No, I have, I have like some draw. And some cards that can be played many times. I think 17 is fine. All right, um, you know, bad, bad deck. Let's go. I'm in. Blue white flyers. A tale as old as time. They said blue white in this deck was supposed to be spirits. Well, I took all the spirits who can fly. Take that. Now I'm blue white flyers, like every other normal set. Against Rippy. Oof. This is really slow. This deck is is faster than this. Okay, good. Um, the Heron is slow? Without it, I have a perfect 1-2-3 curve, assuming they play something I want a Fear of Death, which they probably will. Turns out I drew a land, could have tossed one of these and been okay, probably. It's always tempting to toss a land, but a two land hand is a little bit dangerous. Hmm. 
Well, I'm not thrilled about giving that the fear of death, but I guess that's what I'm doing. I don't want them drawing cards on me. <laughs> Weird attack. Uh, so this can block creatures with flying. It's a little annoying. I think I play my own. Mirror match! Incredible! Really? Alright, I don't block this. They could easily have a combat trick. I want to wait till I have Radiant Grace down. It has Vigilance, right? Yeah. When it attacks, something can fly, sure. Look at that poor kitty cat all alone on the ground. Unless they pay three, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. If I made this a 4-4, four, four, would the trades be any better? No. Hmm. Problems? I mean, I could just make it a 4-4 and hope that, that, like, that it doesn't get removed, right? And eventually build up enough of these, but it's blue-white. They're going to have some way to exile this or bounce it or whatever. I don't think I should build up any more. No attacks. Do I play this or do I just like pump up one of these guys until they're like a 3-3? I think that's too big an investment, but what else am I doing with this, right? Yeah. Let's try this. That's pretty cool, sort of. Yeah. So I was thinking attack with this and try to put another thing here so it's a 3-3, but I'll just not do that. Giving stuff double strike is scary. No, I will not kill that for you. I have Serpentine Ambush, though. Yeah, pass again. Nice life gainer. So they want this to die, obviously. I can block it for free here. But I think it's better to get this involved, right? Exile a card from a graveyard. So I guess I choose instant. Right? Yeah.
Okay, I still get to exile a card from your graveyard, though. Oh, I can't block here. That's right. Okay. Brian Comer, huh? Okay, I mean, I guess it shields down for a moment. I can't just let that keep hitting me. It's only two, but it, it'll add up eventually. But I also want to be able to cast this, and I don't mind them being able to use something double strike. Um, because I have Serpentine Ambush. Or this. I think that's fine. And what's this thing's deal? Ooh. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? All right. Uh, no plays, no attacks. Here go. 17 lands, by the way. I feel like I should have drawn a few more by now. Not that it's killing me. Oh, my God. That's pretty bad. Yeah, I'm in real trouble here. Surprise, it was a snake. So I can stop this from attacking or blocking and then next turn exile it. Pretty slow, and it doesn't leave this dealt with at all. I guess I could triple block it. But then all their other flyers are going to kill me and this thing's a nuisance. This is the only one that's actually a threat, right? Well, no, this is too. Maybe I have to let the 2-3 hit me for a while. Well. Oh, this has Vigilance. I could have, like, put this to sleep and then attacked, but it wouldn't have even helped. I need to make this fly? I probably should, right? But not yet. Yeah, let's make this fly. So 
So we have more 1-1s one -one to play with now. Whoa! Attacking with this is a bit of a surprise. Let's kill that. That's a really weird block if they don't have Serpentine, or they, they must have Serpentine Ambush, right? What else could this be? Cradle of Safety? Okay, I guess that's fine. This has Vigilance now. But they have a 3-3, which is an issue. Well, no, I can just make enough 1-1s, one -ones maybe? Super commit to this creature, that's the plan. And then? I can put one of their guys away. I mean, I can get in a bunch of attacks here. I'm willing to chump some one ones. Oh no, I'm, I'm vigilant, so they don't really have any good attacks, right? I have to let this in, I think. But I need to start doing damage so that they're in danger as well. Yeah. Okay, well that's game over. We, we were behind. I had to super commit to one creature to have any play, and now I... The creature got removed. I don't know. I mean, I do still have some removal. Whoa, really? Oh, it can fly. But, oh, and they can also buff it, right? Yeah. All right, just kill me already. I think that uh, does it, right? All right, all that work, zero and one. <laughs> it just took forever. T Dog, 1627, I guess? This is fine. Getting to attack with a 2 1 Vigilant on turn two is fine. Obviously, I wish I had some faster plays after that but at least i have a good couple first turns oh, they chose a different baldur's gate island or no this is um this is from afr i'm pretty sure i've seen that before pretty happy with the knife actually if they get rid of my thing it's kind of embarrassing but I don't have anything else to do this turn, so. Retrieval, yep. So the the, the curse goes away because this didn't die. So they don't even get the, uh, the second half of the curse on them.
know, maybe Aura would have made more sense, because I have some Auras here. But I have plenty of instants as well, I, I assume that's enough. Um, fear of death here? I mean, it doesn't really accomplish anything, right? Well, it lets me attack with a 4-4, I guess. Yeah, why not? Blue-white again, I'm just now noticing. I don't remember this being a super popular color combo. They're fine. Ooh. Oh, but you don't... There's nothing to... Oops. Swing with all? It looks like they have a block here, but they. A, a, a double block, but they don't. Because this shrinks this into a 0 2. Let's pop this open as well, I guess. I don't really want a sixth land. Ooh, a counterspell is better than an enchantment right now. I mean, they have six mana. They might be able to pay. But if they want to pay like play like um, Fierce Retribution for six, this saves it, right? Is three? Yeah, go ahead, you can have it. No. Mm. Fear of death there. Something? Fly over top? Play this and pass? It would be nice to get another blood token. But I think this is the responsible play. ground creatures you got there. Be a shame if I were to be in the air. Yeah, that tap's fine. I'm scared here, of course, that they might, like, remove this somehow. But six damage is six damage, right? I think just pass. They didn't have it a while ago, right? Yeah, okay, GG. They get to draw. They get to draw. And they get lifelink. Okay, I shouldn't say GG yet. Is it, uh, it's only two to disturb, okay. Mm, 
Well, I don't really want that to attack, I think. So I have to let the 2 3 in. All right. Not really totally clear what happened in that game. I mean, this was a large creature that was attacking them a lot, I guess. Uh, and they, they blundered against Fear of Death, that's true. They did well against Radiant Grace, I don't remember the details. Did they bounce this or something? Yeah, that's right. I played at the Lantern Bear on one, Radiant Grace on two, and then they bounced it pretty early. Lantern Bear is a lot weaker on flyers, uh, or Lantern's Lift, anyway. When they're already flying, you know, three mana to give them 1-1 one, one is not that amazing. Orbis. Punching a thing. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know most of the Planeswalkers. Uh, yeah, seems fine. Minister on one into, like, question mark, something cool. Maybe play the knife, maybe not. Okay, they kept six. And hopefully on three I can play this. Nothing better to do than play the knife, right? Yeah, there's no way this is going to kill something that's attacking, so... Oh, that's annoying. Um, okay. I guess just... Attack? I want to land, right? This would be okay, though. Because I can actually play it. I want a land. Yeah, I have stuff to do with my mana for a while now. Just give me that. Oh, I don't even get it as a serve. I don't, I don't discard it. I bottom it. Oh, well. Green, black, by the way. Oh, many colors. Okay. It's not as bad as it could have been, to be honest. Don't have enough white to play this. Could have discarded it, I suppose. But I want to move the knife over here and still have Serpentine Ambush, I think. Is that what I want? Because I could tap both of my creatures to get in like two damage and make a blood token. I'd still have Fierce Retribution available, I guess. Or Serpentine Ambush, but that wouldn't do anything. Yeah, I guess let's um let's do it. Gotta get in that damage, right? And their board is looking pretty desolate. Even worse than mine. I 
This is not by any means an incredible creature, but I'm just gonna kill it. Am I? Yeah, because it's, it's a life gain engine for them once they start getting blood tokens. Let's just get rid of it. Hmm. I mean, I have a blood token. There's nothing I really want to discard, though. I could discard this, like, or the ambush, maybe. Yeah, maybe the ambush is what I don't want. Just give me another planes. I don't know. What if I just kept it all and just tried to draw another planes naturally? I think that's too greedy. Okay. Oh, I should have probably discarded this. This is... What am I thinking? I mean, I don't know. If I draw any land, this becomes good. Okay. That's fine. It's kind of... Oh, right. It gets exiled. I was like, it's kind of great. It goes to the graveyard. I was thinking of discarding it anyway, but no, it doesn't. Anyway, I should have discarded this on my turn in case I hit a land. But I will discard it now. That's fine, I guess. I don't know that I actually even need to play this, though. I could give this Vigilance, which looks kind of funny. Really, I'm just giving it plus one, plus oh, of course. No, I don't think I will. I'm going to hold open this as a flash trick, and there must be an aura I can exile somewhere, hopefully. Nope. Well, okay. Sure, that's a huge expense, obviously. To just get rid of my 1-1. One, one. Glad I didn't invest any more in it. It was a forest. Should have done that later, probably. Do I want to turn this 1-1 one, one into a... Oh, no, I see. They don't, they don't attack because they want it to block my... Whatever I play, sure. What are you thinking about? There's nothing you can legally do right now, is there? Oh, this must be a land. They were thinking whether they should play it. Okay. I'm not actually going to play that many more lands, I think. Well, yeah, I guess. They're blocking, so it doesn't really matter, but I'd rather have the life than throw away this creature for no reason. Okay, and all I have is, like, removal that makes one one. It's incredible. Oh, and I have one ones to throw away, even. Not that they're going to exploit, right? Really? Okay, go ahead, I guess. Five cards in graveyard, so this would become a 0-4. More, of course, because I'd be milling some stuff, but... That seems fine. 
I can use Sigardia's imprisonment on something more threatening. Yeah, we seem to have this game in the bag. It was a land, by the way. Oh, and a counterspell. How beautiful is that? Well, although actually it kind of sucks, right? Because they can pay, probably. I guess I should play this while I can, right? And it was going to make the spirit, the, the, the counter spell only cost one, so I could afford to do that and not worry about missing out on countering. Even though I think the counter probably wouldn't have worked. Yeah, great, great work. Uh, I feel like, I don't know what did the job that game. The 2-3 uh, the flyer, I guess, did most of the damage. But the knife and the minister were also, like, they were adding a lot. Well, this is that, uh, there's a bear creature in Baldur's Gate that specializes. I forget his name. Tim or something? Cyber Robot. Okay. All right, this is fine. I can discard one of the excess lands with Thirst for Discovery. I have a decent 2 to play. In the meantime, pull the mulligans at least once. Just once. I guess I should have played the planes in case they went in with a haste creature somehow. Obviously unlikely, but might not be impossible. I don't, I don't actually remember a one mana haster in this format. It would be in red if there were one, presumably. Uh, hmm. A little tricky. I want to have a land to discard, and I want to have, like, two blue to play this turn, but I also want to make sure I still have a second planes for in case I draw my double white card. I guess we're going to go like this. The double white card is miles away. This is here right now. Red, black, and green. Just main phase this? Attack first, I guess. Why not? If they kill one of the 1-1s, one -one maybe I replay it or something. It's not a spirit, so we have that going for us. I could trade this for a card. Kind of hurts me on tempo. A card and two life, don't forget. And a scry. I'm going to go for that. Obviously, the two life is not very likely to matter. I didn't know that couldn't be countered. Okay. Wow. That is a lot of land. We need to get damage in fast. Hmm. Well, I 
guess if I do this, I can play both of my one mana spells. Or I could have played this and held open a counter, but I don't think they're going to be playing spells this turn. I just got to get all the, da the damage in the air that I can. Oh, that's a spell. Well, not one that I would have wanted to counter. It's actually kind of nice that he didn't make it night. Oh, it's Bramble Worm! Land? 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 All right, we got him. Suck it, Bramble Worm. I mean, they're gaining a lot of life, but Bramble Worm's gone. Another disgusting creature. A wolf this time? No. But they're not making it night, but they are developing lifelinkers. Bonk. Okay, Serpentine Ambush should be fun, I guess. Ryan Comer to make another flyer. Wish I had a third blue source, but the order I do my lands in made that difficult. It's gonna flip their, this thing. Pretty nice. I can't counter shit because they're not actually playing spells. That's not a flyer, so away it goes. Oh, I should have blocked first. Ah, oh, you stupid idiot. They weren't popping. They were they were offering to pass the blockers. Great. Well, shit. What am I supposed to do about this? I can't take eight. I think I just... I have to trade my 2-1 off. Yeah, I guess they didn't play a spell. They they paid for this, but that wasn't a spell. I don't know how important making that fly actually is, because it can always tap for... I should have targeted one of these so I get in more damage this turn. But I think I do want to make all the flyers, so... could have had that lifelinker dead. I don't know if that would be enough to be in the lead, but at the moment I'm not in the lead, and it was a very impactful mistake. 
Ooh. Yeah. Just terrible that enchanting that as well. Should have been one of these guys. I didn't need it to be a flyer. I don't know, I guess it comes out about the same. Because then I would have had to lose another one of these spirits. Alright, looks dead to me. Boo, boo, boo. I mean, like, in the end, I lost a Halpak Piper playing an early Bramble Worm and, like, just some really expensive stuff, but I could have played better around what they were doing, and maybe that would have been enough to somehow come out on top. Could I have had a Counterspell up for Halpak Piper? I don't think so. Okay, I just need any land in the next two turns and it's a pretty good hand. Mm, I would have preferred you last turn. No land now is pretty bad, only really bad. If, it, if this is not a land, then we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, but it is, so easy game. I think I need to fear of death that. Let's just see what we get here. Kind of amazing. A land, an island, and one of these guys is uh, about the best I could have hoped for. probably are making afraid of death. Play this first, hoping to hit two lands? I think that's an okay thing to try. If I miss, it's not the end of the world, I think. And I do need to race pretty fast. Okay, you know what? One land is fine. Um, let's discard that five drop and... My own Heron? I think it might be a while before... No, I decide... I don't, I don't think I need to kill their attackers very much. Let's do this. I think if I just attack with the 2-3, they'll obviously block, and then I can scry it. I can piercing light it. Or I could put it to sleep and get in for one more damage. But I'd rather just kill it, right? No, they're just going to let it in? Okay. It's a 
pretty reasonable choice, I think. I don't think I need to fear of death anything. I'm going to hang on to a counterspell instead. I could have attacked with everything, I guess. Be willing to trade one of these for that. I hope they might go for the block. Maybe that's too greedy. No blocks, I think. Oh yeah, this thing can give lifelink out. That's why I needed to kill it. Okay, still no blocks. Well, I had no choice about that. Of course, now they get a lifelink aura. <sighs> Let's just play my own Heron and we have piercing light still available. Fierce Retribution would have been pretty cool, it turns out. Here? Yeah, they're not too far from flipping it. Let's go for that block. They probably have a combat trick. But they committed theirs first. So. Oh, this doesn't work! Okay, but it does kill it. No, it doesn't. I just lose. Okay, I hate this game. Am I conceding? Probably. Should have killed this instead, or anything that mattered, really. Oops. Yeah, I forgot two damage is not three. So I threw that spell away. Now they're at 20, I'm at 6. Okay, let's just cast these spells and go home. Interesting, it doesn't ask if you want to confirm, if you're sure there. Bungled that as well. Yuck. I mean, if I... Uh, letting the Heron hope of Hope stay unchecked was a big problem. I don't know what I was supposed to do. Like, I need to get it involved in combat with me at a time when I have Piercing Light available. I could attack with everything into their 2-3, but that looks incredibly suspicious. Well, I don't know. Maybe it looks like I just want one of my things to die so that it can be a spell next turn, and in the meantime I get in three damage. Maybe that's not like totally unbelievable as a story. Or I could have attacked with nothing and tried to block it on the next turn, but Attacking with the 2-3 was, I think, pretty bad. And then, obviously, this was insanely bad. I'm sure I made some other mistakes. Still not sure about discarding Fierce Retribution. I thought I didn't care about their attackers, but then their attackers started flying and having lifelink, and that was a big problem. Well, two wins. Yeah, that, that seems about right. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.